good evening dear students welcome to tenali parshara so as you know i started a sudarshan series for second pu chemistry already uh, six videos are uploaded on the channel if you have not seen that the link is given in the description please go through that and then come to this one yes in this uh, this video we are going to talk about the in text question and also the physical properties up to preparation of halogens already over in the previous class so in this class we are going to talk about physical properties and in text question yes let us start with a in text question first let's see 10.2 i have taken this in text question from the ncert textbook only 10.2 example why is sulfuric acid not used for the uh, used during the reaction of alcohol with ki why that sulfuric acid is not used there ask why why because you see when you take sulfuric acid and add to ki what happens this sulfuric acid oxidizes this ki into yes ki into h plus kh so four sulfuric acid converts ki into h i and again h i oxidizes to oxidizes to i two meaning is there is not ki in the reaction only because ki is converted into h i and h i is oxidized to i two therefore we are not supposed to use sulfuric acid during the process of preparation of alcohol using ki getting my point so whenever ki is there sulfuric acid you are not supposed to use because sulfuric acid converts ki into hi and hi again oxidizes to i2 in presence of sulfuric acid i hope you understood the meaning second one you see write the structures of different dialo dialogen derivative of propane you know different dialogen derivative of propane they are asking propane means how many carbon three carbon so you write first three carbons okay i will write three carbons di halogen derivatives they are asking di halogen means two halogen you have to add so how you have to add you should get different structures here St structures of different di halogen derivatives so first case is you can add one halogen here one halogen here second case one halogen here one halogen here correct third case both the halogen are the same carbon fourth case both the halogen are the middle carbon so these are the four possibilities apart from the second other possibilities no so you know that first carbon last carbon first carbon second carbon if you write this cl here also that is same only first carbon second carbon or first carbon second carbon next first carbon only both the uh, chlorines or you write this and both the chlorine both that is also same only so middle carbon two chlorines so these are the four possibilities the remaining you have to add the hydrogen and you know for each carbon four bonds are required correct or not see here for this carbon already two bonds are over right two h two bonds are over two h two bonds are over two h so this is the first compound second one two bonds are over two h Three bonds are over. One H. Total four bonds are required. So one bond is over. Three H. So go on adding here also. Three H, two H, one H. Because three hydrogen. Three bonds are already over. Here three. Here three. Because one one bonds are there. In metal carbon already three bonds are there. I hope you are getting. So these are the structure, different structure of dihalogen derivative. So here I have written chlorine. You can write bromine or iodine anything. So dihalogen they have given. Meaning is two halogen. So here I write a chlorine. You can write X also generally. Getting. So what is the name of this compound? One two three or one two three. Both are same. Prop one three, one three dichloro propane. One three dichloro propane. If you take bromo, one three dibromo propane. So if you take uh, generally one three dihalo propane. So what about this case? One, two, three. Now we have to write one number this power carbon only because halogen starts from this carbon only, right? So one, two. Here one, three is there. Here we get one, nine, two. One comma two dichloro propane. I hope you are getting. And this one carefully see here only. One, two, three. First position both the chlorines are there. So we can write one comma one dichloro. One comma one dichloro. Propane. And what about this case? 
वन टू थ्री आर वन टू थ्री बहुत अच्छे सेकंड पोजीशन बहुत ही क्लोरीन टू कॉमा टू डाइक्लोरो टू कॉमा टू डाइक्लोरो प्रोपेन आई होप यू आर गेटिंग सो दिस इज वे ऑल रिगार्डिंग वेट दिस स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ डिफरेंट डायलोजन डेरिवेटिव ऑफ प्रोपेन सो हियर आई हैव टेकन क्लोरीन एस एन एग्जांपल यू कैन टेक ब्रोमीन और यू कैन टेक आयोडीन आल्सो रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट यस यस सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड सो इफ यू वांट टू टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट यू कैन टेक इट गाइस यस I hope you have taken this screenshot. Now we'll move to the next in-text question. Remain two more in-text questions are there. We'll solve it, and then we'll move to the uh, next physical properties of halogen. Sorry for this bad throw. Yes, yes, guys. This is a next in-text question. Ten point four. See what they are asking. Among the isomeric alkanes of molecular formula C five H twelve, identify the one that one photochemical chlorination yield. Meaning is. See, we are having a uh, alkane. Alkane means all are singly bonded with the molecular formula C five H twelve, and they are asking on photochemical chlorination means uh, they have added chlorine and they have added sunlight. Then what are the product we are getting? See, options also they are given a single monochlorine, uh, single monochloride, three isomeric monochloride, or four isomeric monochloride. Meaning is you have to write the structure of alkane. When you add chlorine to it, you should get only one answer. That is single monochloride. Only one possibility should be there. Here, three isomeric monochloride means uh, if you add chlorine to it, uh, you may get three different products. That is called three isomeric monochlorides. And when you take that alkane and uh, added with chlorine in presence of sunlight, you should get four different products. That is called four isomeric monochloride. In that way, you write the structure of the alkane. I hope you understood the question first. So what is a molecular formula? C five H twelve. You know C five H twelve. Meaning is I will write this one first. C five carbons are over. You write it. Uh, hydrogen straight. Carefully see. Single monochloride. So to this compound is that formula is satisfied? One two three four five. Five carbon. Three plus three plus three plus three. Twelve hydrogen. Yes. The formula is satisfied. Structure is correct. For this uh, uh, alkane, if you add chlorine to it, what happens? Either chlorine may attach to this carbon, uh, H is replaced by chlorine, or here, or here, or here. Only four possibilities are there. And wherever you attach the chlorine, you will get the same product. That means, in case of this one, you will get only single product. Therefore, that is called a single monochloride. Single monochloride product you are getting for this compound. I hope you are getting. So we have written the alkane where you add a chlorine in presence of sunlight, you will get a single product, right? Second case, see, three isomeric monochloride should be present. You write a straight chain, you will get the answer. Straight chain means one, two, three, four, five. So you write the hydrogens. Three here, three here. One bond is over. Two bonds are over. Right here, two H. 2H and 2H. Now carefully observe. This is first position. This is also first position. So these carbons are same. I will write here A A. One type of carbon it is. This is second position. This is second position. So both the carbon atoms are same. B B. Means uh, A and A. Both the positions are same. Either chlorine is attached to this A, this first position, or chlorine is attached to this first position. Both are same. Chlorine may attach to B. Here second position or here also second position. Any one that is same. Third position middle one. Chlorine may attach here. So how many types of carbon you are having? Three types of carbon. Three types of carbon. Now what are the carbons you are having? A, B, and C. So three uh, three products you will get. Three different products. Three different products you will get. See that is called one, two, three, four, five. Five carbon. Three plus three, six plus six, twelve hydrogen. So molecular formula is same only. But when you add chlorine to it, chlorine may attach to this end or this end. That is one possibility. Chlorine may attach to the second position or the second position. Second possibility. Chlorine may attach to middle carbon. That is third possibility. So you will get three products on chlorination. So this is the second question. I hope you are getting fourth one. Four isomeric monochlorides means you should get four different answers. 
So you just make one branch like this. Carefully see. One, two, three, four. Second position, you can write the branch. Now carefully see, add the hydrogen. One, two, three, four, five. Already five thermals are over. One bond is over, three hydrogen. One bond is over, three hydrogen. One bond is over, three hydrogen. Two bonds are over, two hydrogen. Three bonds are over, one hydrogen. Count the number of hydrogen. Three plus three plus three. Nine, ten, twelve. Five carbon, twelve hydrogen. Again, molecular formula is same. That of question given. Right. Now, what are the possible different types of carbon you are having? Carefully see. This is also side branching. This is also side branching. So, this is A. This is also A. One type of carbon. This carbon is having two branching. So, this is different carbon only. Now, this carbon, this carbon is not same. Because this carbon is not having any substituent. This carbon is attached to this carbon. And that carbon is having substituent. Getting so and carbons are different now. In this case, and carbons are same. In this case, and carbons are different. I hope you are getting. So these two carbons are same. This is different. This is different, and this carbon is also different. So how many possibility you are getting? A, A, one possibility. B, second possibility. C, third possibility. D, fourth possibility. Meaning is in this case you are having four different carbons. So you will get four different. Products on halogenation means uh, chlorine may attach to here or here. That is one product. Chlorine may attach to B carbon, second product. Chlorine may attach to C carbon, third product. Chlorine may attach to D carbon, that is a fourth product. So you are getting totally four different products with the same molecular formula on chlorination. I hope you are getting. So this is the structure of the alkane where you will get four isomeric monochlorides. Sorry for this bad throat, guys. So I hope you are uh, able to hear my voice, right? See. This is, these are regarding the uh, how to write the alkane if the question is given like this. Means uh, monochloride product, three isomeric monochloride products or four isomeric products in this way you have to imagine. Meaning is you have to write the carbon in such a way that how many uh, products they are asking, different product in that much environment you have to create, create it. Three, only one is there, all should be at the equivalent position. See all the carbon atoms are same, no. CH3, 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 all carbon atoms are same. So all are A only, only one type of carbon you are having. One type of carbon. That is A. So only one product. Only one product. Single product you are getting. That is single monochloride product you will get. So here one, this is one, second, third. So three different carbon, three product. Here one, two, three, four. So what you are having? Four different carbon. Four different carbons, A, B, C, and D. Therefore, four different products. Four different products you will get. I hope you understood. So this is regarding question number 10.4. So now we will talk about most important uh, question. That is they have given the reactant and they are asking the product. We will discuss that 10.5 in text question also. So if you have to take a screenshot, you can take it guys. I hope you have taken the screenshot. Now we will talk about the next question. Yes guys. So this is a 10.5 question. See that. Draw the structures of major products they are asking. So the, these are the questions given to you. So I have taken from the NCRT textbook only. Yes guys. Carefully see there what they have given. The first case. You are given with. Here OH is given. This is cyclohexane. You know that. So that we are not having any. See, this is a cyclohexanol it is, cyclohexanol. So what is there, SOCl2 means uh, in presence of pyridine. Which method it is? In presence of uh, pyridine. So method is called uh, Darzen's method. Which method? Darzen's method. Already we studied. If you have not seen that, that video link is given in the description plus go, go, go through that. Simply SO will take O and eliminate as a SO2 gas. 1 of the H, 1 of the Cl. Eliminate as a HCl gas. So what is remaining? 1 Cl will attach here. Wherever OH is there, you will get a Cl there. Everything is same. So what you will get? You will get like this. Carefully see. Here Cl. Simple. It is a Darzen's method. Wherever OH is there, you will get Cl. Direct method. Okay. So when you add Br to heat in ultraviolet light, what happens? Nothing but it is a brumination. So brumination can be done with a 
uh, according to stable carbocation. So here you will get secondary carbocation, here you will get primary carbocation, 100% bromine will attach to middle carbon. So what you are getting, everything is same, give bromine to the middle carbon. This is the benzene as it is, here NO2 group as it is. Now middle carbon you have to add the bromine like this. Here bromine. One of the H is replaced by bromine and that H and this we are eliminated as a HBR. I hope you are getting. See the third question. Here CH2OH is there and HCl is there. Nothing but addition of hydrogen halide to alcohol. Correct or not? Addition of hydrogen halide to alcohol. So it is a primary alcohol. What happens? Obviously OH is replaced by Cl. So what you will get? H and OH elevated as a H2O and Cl will sit in place of OH CH2OH already I have studied this direct method is OH is replaced by Cl here ok come to this one what is there here carefully observe here double bond is there HI is there addition of hydrogen halide to alkene and you know addition of hydrogen halide to alkene follow Marconi Cops rule which rule Marconi Cops rule Markov Nikov's rule and what is Markov Nikov's rule negative part of the nucleophile will going to attach to the carbon doubly bonded carbon containing lesser number of hydrogen see here this carbon is doubly bonded and this carbon is doubly bonded carefully see this carbon is having one two three bond so it is having only one H what about this carbon one two three four bond so zero H so in which carbon hydrogen atoms are less? This carbon. So therefore negative part means I minus is going to attach to here. H is going to attach to here. So what you will get? You will get like this. Here one H already present. One more H you will get here. And here CH3 as it is. And here what comes? Iodine. Why iodine is added to this carbon? Why not this carbon? Because according to Marconi Cup's rule, this carbon is having lesser number of hydrogen atom. Lesser number of hydrogen atom. Therefore, lesser means almost zero only you are having here. Here they are having at least one. So, lesser number of hydrogen atom is present here only. Therefore, that negative part of the nucleophile is attached. going to attach here only. Clear? Yes. Go for this one. CH3, CH2, Br and NEI. Which reaction it is? It is a Finkelstein reaction. Correct. It is a Finkelstein reaction. Yes. So in Finkelstein reaction what happens? Halogen exchange takes place. Here bromine is there. No, bromine is replaced by iodine. And NaBr is eliminated. What is eliminated? NaBr is eliminated. Iodine will come in place of bromine. So what you will get? CH3 as it is. CH2 as it is. Iodine plus NaBr. I hope you are getting. See last question. Here bromine is there. And here alkene is there. And you know. Whenever halogen is added to alkene, what happens? You will get a vesinal dihydrides when, when sol solvent is carbon tetrachloride. Here solvent they have not given. Meaning is, now halogen, uh, halogen to alkene will not give a vesinal dihydrides. Instead, you will get allylic halide. So allylic position halogenation takes place. Meaning is, you just break the double bond and add here bromine. I hope you are getting. See what happens? This double bond as it is, you will get here bromine. Suppose, suppose, same reaction you have taken, plus Br2, in the presence of carbon tetrachloride. When you add carbon tetrachloride, you will get a vesinal dihydrides. Vesinal means here double bond is broken, and one Br is added here, and one Br is added here. So in that case, what you would have been get the answer? You would have been get like this. Back to anti-addition. One is front side, Another one is backside, like that you will get. Already studied the whole things. Whenever bromine is there with the heat and sunlight, the alkene will not undergo bromination. Instead, the carbon next to alkene will undergo bromination. And whenever carbon tetrachloride is there and halogenation is there, then you will get vesinal dihydrides. Vesinal means adjacent carbon, bromine or halogen. See here. Continue carbons are having hydrogen. So these are called vesinal dibromides. When carbon tetrachloride. But when heat and sunlight is given, Bromination is going to take place at the carbon next to alkene. I hope you followed guys. If you want to take a screenshot, you can take it.
Yes, guys. This is regarding this class, guys. Uh, we have solved uh, enough number of in-text questions which are given in the NCRT. So, in the next video, we will going to talk about the physical properties. I am not feeling well, throat is not perfect. That's why I am stopping the video here only. So, in tomorrow's class, we will discuss with the physical properties. And in, in detail, up to neat level. After that, we, uh, I will upload one video with the MCQs. So, those MCQs are helpful to both the board, KCET and NEET. So, all type of MCQ I will cover up to uh, preparation of allocation and physical properties of allocation. Yes, thanks for watching. Thank you.